friends, Pastor Greg here from St. Paul's United Methodist Church and Wesley Foundation in downtown State College. I'm standing here in our sanctuary, right in front of our iconic stained glass window of Jesus praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. Now, when we think about Jesus praying, this may be one of the main scenes that comes to our minds. Or we may also remember the time that, that Jesus taught his disciples how to pray, beginning, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. This weekend, we're beginning a new series here at St. Paul's in which we're going to be taking a closer look at this prayer Jesus taught us as a model for praying. We'll be looking this week at what it means to call God our Father, what it means to say that God is in heaven, and how God's name might be hallowed. We want to invite you to worship with us uh, in person at 9 and 10.30 on Sunday morning uh, here at our location, or you can join us online. We're live streaming our 10.30 service on our YouTube channel, and you can watch that right there live and kind of uh, contribute on the chat and kind of stay connected that way, or you can watch it later in the day or some other time during the week. Just set aside some time to, to worship with us as part of, uh, of the faith community. We want to invite you to do that, but not only that, We are also engaging uh, this Lent on a study of the Lord's Prayer, looking at a book written by Adam Hamilton. It's called The Lord's Prayer. And we've got at least 15 different small groups uh, of all ages who are going to be taking a a, a weekly look at this book. Some of them are doing it in person, some are doing it online, or or some in a a hybrid way, online and in person together. And uh, we want to encourage you to be a part of that as a way to stay connected and to dig deeper. And and our prayer is that this would really be a a transformational study and and journey for us this Lent. And by that, we we mean that you'll just grow in your faith and and become a person that prays more deeply and intentionally. One more thing. Lent officially begins uh, next Wednesday, March the 2nd, with Ash Wednesday. And we're going to be worshiping together again on that night here in person at 7 o'clock. And we'll be live streaming that on our YouTube channel as well. And we just want to invite you to be a part of that, to kind of begin your Lent by, uh, by worshiping together, by remembering uh, who we are, our mortality, our brokenness, and, and, and sort of committing together to the journey that is ahead of us in Lent. And so we want to invite you to just come and pray with us, come and worship with us, come and learn with us. Come and love with us. We hope to see you soon. God bless.